Ashan is a world of legendary peoples. The elves guard the forests of Irulan. Hey guys, Adrian here on behalf of iTouchApps.net. Today we're taking a look at Might of Magic, Might and Magic, Clash of Heroes. This is a really crazy RPG role-playing game for that of your iPhone. It's a really awesome puzzle. It's a mix of puzzle and battle mechanic strategy all rolled into a really great RPG. As you can see here, this, they have a really great storyline that goes into this. And you go on an epic adventure playing through 20 hours of campaign. So right now we're in the campaign mode. There's a battle mode as well. But again, 20 hours plus of gameplay. Uh, even at its $4.99 price or $5 price point, you get a really awesome playability um, series throughout it. So again, it, it has vibrant, detailed maps full of different, you get knights, elves, wizards, all these different characters. You can even challenge your friends and adversaries all over the world in an online or face-to-face -face mode. And they also even have pass and play mode. So they just have all this sort of gameplay that you can check out throughout the game uh, again. And we're going to go ahead and skip this little bit of the intro here to get you into the actual game. You can see here, this is the basic UI layout. So it's that of an RPG style where you're kind of outer view. You get to control the character here and you there's your champion. You play a role of a champion here and you get to pick along other players as you go along the, the game here and upgrade your heroes, all of that. Uh, it, it's that more of cartoon style graphics, definitely. Uh, it's, you know, it's not the best in terms of graphics, but it has a real RPG like feel to it. As you can see here, the multiple characters, the dialogue, a lot of this game is dialogue. There's a lot of talking, a lot of going through these cutscenes and stuff like that. So it, it's definitely more for the patient. You know, if you're into the whole storyline and stuff like that, uh, this isn't, you know, right into the action type of game. It, it, there's a lot of story behind it. And especially cause this is the campaign mode. You can see here, you can move by tapping. So your your character here, you tap where you want to go via these little uh, pr uh, plots on the map here. So it's not exactly kind of free roam. It's more of that of, um, what do you call that? You kind of choose where do you want to go by clicking on these little points. So again, it, it, it's more of that of a kind of move by move game. It's not really free roam. It's You can only go in certain limits on the map, though the maps are really distinct, really detailed. Um, from what I can, there's over 10 heroes. You can earn over 40 units, 50 artifacts. Um, and after every battle, you can go into battle here and uh, go in and interact with characters here and go off to uh, fight different enemies throughout the map here. You can pause in the top left here and you can see all, all a bunch of options here. You have help options, leaderboards, achievements, etc. Now this game requires a lot of saving. Now that's one thing that may be a con to you. This game is a big game. It has a lot packed into it. It's over 2 gigs in size and you're going to need about 2 gigs free in order to play the actual game here. So there's a lot of stuff that goes into this game. Like I said, the countless uh, maps, the, the scenery here, the levels, as you can see here, you can go through some crazy stuff here and uh, you meet a lot of different allies and so on and so forth. Um, you're gonna get into different battles throughout with monsters, other people and all that stuff. It has a real huge storyline to it. And again, it's not for that of people who aren't uh, into the storyline and, and that of reading and all these literature. There's a lot of that and you're gonna need to get used to that. As you can see here, um, I'm going to go ahead and move along. Different things pop up along the route here after as, as you go along here. So you can see here, we go into battle here. And the battle system is really well done here. So you have your levels of uh, your characters here. And once you go into the battle system, it's that of a real sort of RPG-like feel. You have the kind of turn-by-turn -turn attack base movement. It's also really strategy-based. So you get to choose where you want to put your enemies on the field or your, your I should say your allies on the field here. And we're going to go ahead and deposit them right here. And you can see the enemies uh, are coming along here. So we're going to go ahead and drop an enemy right here, an army, I should say. And now we advance the, the battle and the enemy zone. So you can see that that red zone is the enemy zone. So I go first. And it's my turn. And the number of, as you see, the number of moves in a turn is indicated by the move counter. Your move counter is in the, uh, right here. You can see in the very bottom where the arrow is. So I have two. And you have different formations of units here. You can go into attack formation. Um, defense formation and I can drag little units here and put them on spot to help defend a certain formation here uh, again really really detailed game it's something that really takes time to learn there's a lot to learn and uh, for the five dollar price point you're not going to be disappointed um, beyond that again might have uh, might and magic are is a series of games they have a lot of games that they've done it's available for both iPhone and iPad um, you're also going to find that there's a, a couple of in-app purchases to get ex uh, extended packs and stuff like that. And quick name is going to go over here to the main menu so you can see uh, a couple of the other things that you have offered here. Um, 
you have battle mode like i mentioned earlier you have the multiplayer support with the uplay series so if you're a fan of the uplay it has that as well you can go into the settings here to adjust things like how to play adjust other sound effect volumes all of that good stuff overall might and magic clash of heroes there's so much to cover in a game like this because it's so diverse it has so much it's an mmorpg essentially you can play with friends you can play online by yourself you have over 20 hours of gameplay to go through so it's definitely worth the five dollars but again this is a niche category it's not going to be for everybody if you're not into those games where it's not straight up action there's a lot of quests there's a lot of waiting there's a lot of moving around upgrading your characters then this game is not for you but again if you're looking for a solid rpg for the iphone then this won't fail you might of magic clash of heroes find in the app store today